Hey guys, Tiny Bryson here, and it's kind of crazy to think about that it's almost been about a year where I haven't had my own car. That's pretty crazy. And it's a lot more different than it used to be when I lived in New York. I was actually in college, and my home was in the Bronx, my college was in White Plains, and my work was in Mount Kisco. And I had this whole massive commute where I had to wake up at 5 a.m. and get back home by like 10 p.m. or sometimes even like 11 p.m. It was pretty crazy, it was pretty wild. And you know, why do I mention this? Because at the end of the day, when you have a car, it's not really just about transportation, but more than anything, it's about convenience. If I had a car back then, I wouldn't have had to wake up at 5 a.m. or get home that late whatsoever. So I needed a car back then, but I didn't know I could actually afford a car. I thought cars were just so expensive at the time, and I'll tell you more about that later in this video. But as always, guys, like this video and talk about also subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified. Now, here's the first thing Thing that I actually learned. I learned that cars are actually affordable. In what sense, Tommy? You know, you don't have a car today, you know they're affordable, so don't want so why don't you buy one right now? The answer is I'll tell you just in a bit. But for the most part, when I was in college, I couldn't afford the car I wanted. I wanted a Mercedes C-Class. It costs about $10,000. I'm in college, broke, and I'm like, I don't have that much money. So I set a goal for myself. My goal was simple. I wanna save $10,000 to buy this car. Now, mind you, at the time, I really wasn't that well-versed when it came to personal finance as a whole. So I didn't know that much about credits. I didn't know that I actually had a pretty good income to walk in the dealership and actually get that car with like 20% down or something like that, okay? I didn't know that, and thank God I didn't know that. But here's what happened. Six months go by, I save up $10,000, but the person I had to become to be able to save that much money when my income wasn't really that much whatsoever, the answer was a different person, okay? And by that time, I knew a lot about credit. I knew a lot about cars. I knew a lot about investing. And I was like, there's no way I'm gonna grab my $10,000 that took me so long to save up and spend it on a vehicle that by the time I graduate in three years, it's gonna be worth around like $5,000, you know? if nothing breaks down or anything crazy like that actually happens. So that actually changed a lot for me and that changed my mind forever. But I also remember I had a friend when I was in college, his name was Joey, and I had another friend, his name was Sean. Now, Joey drove a car from the late 90s or early 2000s, it was a Honda Civic, and it was, it was brown, you know, like light brown. The car looked like total garbage, you know? But it was good, he took care of it, all right? But it was old, it was an old car, I gotta be honest, he's my friend. And sometimes he drove me in the car, he took care of that car like crazy, and that car was like $2,000 or so. And my other friend, Sean, he drove a muscle car. It was orange, it looked so pretty. I got in it once, I was like, yo, this car is powerful. It was an expensive car, it was like 20,000 or like $30,000, okay? that was pretty crazy. But for the most part, at the time, my mentality was I needed to buy an expensive car, but I didn't realize that I could just buy my friend's car for two thousand dollars And my friend woke up at like 7 a.m. And here I am waking up at like almost like 5 a.m. To get to class on time. That's pretty crazy, right? So I learned that lesson then that cars are affordable The car I need is affordable because that's the car I can afford to pay for in cash but the car I wanted wasn't affordable because I obviously couldn't afford the car. I could not afford to have to buy a Mercedes whatsoever. So I learned that lesson, okay? Cars are affordable. So why don't I own a car? You know, when I was in New York, I didn't buy a car when I needed a car because lack of knowledge. And when I actually bought my first car when I lived in Puerto Rico, the answer was I made a mistake. I bought a hybrid vehicle. I made just a lot of dumb decisions, you know, putting expensive tires in the car, getting this and that, it was pretty dumb. And I, I didn't hassle enough for the car, but I just would have done things a lot more different. Bought a normal Toyota Corolla and called it a day. But you know, today, the short answer to why I don't have a car is just because I just don't need a car. You know, here's my situation right now, okay? I live in Dominican Republic, my mom lives in New York, we have a car here, a vehicle here that's my mom's car, 
and she's here like three months out of the year, and I'm here 12 months out of the year. So for nine months, I have her car to actually drive around and do whatever I wanna do. And whenever she's here, I use my friend's car, or for example, a motorcycle we actually have in the family. So for the most part, <laughs> I just don't have a car because I don't need a car right now. Now, this basically means, guys, my advice is, when I was in New York, I didn't get a car when I needed a car because lack of knowledge, I said that already. But there was a point when I actually graduated college, I quit that job, and I was just in the Bronx doing my job, okay? And my job was like, you know, working from home, had my own business, but it was like really close. So then I didn't need a car anymore. So my point is, Get a car when you need a car. That's the whole idea. Don't just get a vehicle because you think, hey, I might as well just get a car now. I got the cash for it. Because remember, our car isn't just when you buy it. You pay, for example, a thousand bucks for a car. It's also the insurance. It's also the maintenance. It's also the gas. It's also the parking. It's all those things put together. All those things take time and cost money. So if you can get around with just, with, for example, a train or a bike, and you're fine with that, just do that. But if you actually need a car because you have long commutes and it's gonna cost you a few extra bucks a month, I would definitely do it. Looking back, I would have definitely bought a little used Toyota Corolla from the late 90s or early 2000s like my friend did with a Honda Civic. I would have done that for sure. And I wouldn't have cared if the car looked like trash or garbage because it would have been my car and it would have saved me so much time. Now, you're probably wondering, Tommy, eventually you're probably going to need to buy a car. So when you buy a car, what's your mindset for buying a car? What car are you probably going to buy? And when are you thinking about buying a car? Now, the first part is when I actually buy a car, I want to pay cash for the car and I want to make sure it's no more than half my annual income or 10% of my net worth. That's the idea. If I make $50,000 a year, I don't wanna spend more than $25,000 on a vehicle. It's too much car if I spend way too much above that, okay? That's the idea. And I wanna pay cash for it. This way I don't have to worry about monthly payments or anything like that whatsoever. Now, here's the second part. What car are you thinking about buying, Tommy? The answer is, if I had it my way, I would probably buy a Lexus. Um, but they're expensive. So for the most part, I'm looking at Lexus, Toyota, and Honda. If I find a great deal on Lexus, I'll get that. But I want to buy a car that's reliable. You know, most of those cars I mentioned right there between Honda, Toyota, and, 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 and Lexus, they range from like 200 to 250,000 miles, not dollars, obviously, um, miles, right? So it gives me a long time to actually get the most value out of this car. Now you think about it, right, guys? Um, if a car gives you about 250,000 miles and the average person drives around 12,000 miles a year, well, that means the life of this car is gonna be around 20 years. That's pretty crazy to think about, right? So if I buy this car that's like, you know, like five years old per se, I got 15 years left with the car. Let's say 10, let's say five. The point is I have a lot more car to actually use. That's the idea. So I wanna buy a car that's based on reliability until I can afford to buy a car that's just based on fun. You know, you buy a Mercedes, the life is not gonna be this long at all, but they're fun, they're fast cars, they're nice cars, or a Porsche Cayenne, those are fun cars, nice cars, but I'm not gonna buy one of those cars until I can afford all the expenses that come along with a car like that. Now, lastly, what's the timeline here? When are you gonna buy a car? The answer is, I answered this question already, and the answer is when I need a car. If I needed a car right now, I would go ahead and buy a car right now. But one thing you don't wanna do, I remember when I, was in, when I was in high school, and I wanted to move out of my mom's house so bad, and I told my counselor this, and he was like, Tommy, trust me on this, don't do it. Take advantage, stay there as long as you can, save a lot of money, when you move out, graduate without like the loans, pay everything off, and when you move out, just, just move out with some cash. And whatever ideas you have about buying, for example, gold chains and, and fancy sneakers, just don't do it. It's all just stupid. But you know what they say, right? With age comes wisdom and you know all those things. I was pretty young and I wasn't really paying attention. So by luck, I didn't move out that early. But it's the same thing here. If you find yourself in a place where you don't need a car right now, 
and you just have, for example, small inconveniences here and there, the answer is just, just stick to it and just keep saving money until you can buy a better car. But if you actually do need a car, right? Buy the car you can afford to pay for in cash, and that's basically it. That's my advice, that's my idea. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment down below exactly um, what's your budget for your car, okay? Comment down below. Like, how much car can you afford to pay for in cash if you had the cash right now? Or are you willing to actually save up that much money, okay? On top of that, up here is another video. Over here is my face. Click subscribe. And as always, long-term team officially out. See you guys later.